Okay guys, this is going to be a final review on my um, T61, that, um, I did my final upgrades, everything's done, and I just wanted to give you a quick tour. So first of all, the Intel SSD is installed, and I believe I have the box somewhere here, around here. There it is. This is the box. This is installed in there, the Intel 330 120GB. I'll, I'll have a note on the on top of this image that can take you there. Then, um, yeah, basically this is it. I have Windows 7 um, Ultimate 64-bit on it, as all my other computers do. And um, I was about to show you first, let's start off by um, performance of the SSD and how long it takes this computer to boot up. So I'm going to press restart. And by the way, I have a watch here. I'm going to time it as soon as the Windows thing appears, not the BIOS. When the Windows comes up, the actual boot time. Start. Okay, here we go. My desktop to your left, which you can't see in this picture, takes about um, 11 seconds to boot up completely. Let's check this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 18 seconds, guys. 18 seconds for this laptop to boot up. And um, as you can see, everything's ready. And um, I'm just going to show you the performance and the Windows rating index and stuff. And by the way, Lenovo has on their website, you could just search T61 drivers. They have an amazing interface for installing drivers. You can install all these drivers like I did, the sound, the battery, which is a great tool you can have. But anyways, we can, we're going to go to properties. And... There we go. Uh, it's 4.1 over there, if you can see it. Unfortunately, because of my of the Quadra graphics, I'm gonna go, go ahead and click on it, and we'll take a look at the ratings there. Actually, guys, sorry if this is gonna be shaky. For one second, let me move the camera closer. This way you can see better. So as you can see, um, calculations per second for my processor, it's 5.5. And um, memory and RAM, I'll just zoom out and read them to you. Try to zoom in the best as I can. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I guess that's well good enough. So, processor is 5.5, memory or RAM is 5.5 again. Graphics is 4.1, unfortunately. 3D business and gaming graphics is 5.3, which is very good. And primary hard disk, which is the solid state drive, is 7.2. So the only bad, the only downside of this laptop is the um, desktop performance for Windows Aero. And, um, but it's pretty good for um, get, um, 3D business gra graphics and, um, business graphics and gaming graphics it's 5.3 that's the only downside the 4.1 one and let's exit out of this and um, if you remember I, I told you about the hard drive here which you can install so I'm just going to show you how this is done and by the way I'll leave a link here to the review of this thing and the SSD installation um, so we go down here, we, we eject the CD drive that's currently in it, and let's see, did I eject it? There we go. Was it not ejected? There. Ah, uh, I hate it when it does this. This device is not in use. Let's go undock it again. Oh, 
there we go, it's done. It's, it's not there anymore, so you just pull it out, like I just did. This is the standard DVD RAM. And then you have this. Just put it in there, like I said in the other video. And, um, basically just push it in. Oops. Sorry, guys. And lock it. And voila. It's probably going to give me something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. So, there it is. I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to go to computer and show you it thing. Um, so there we are. The left one is 120 gigabyte solid state. Uh, the right one is local ultra bay disk. I named it local ultra bay disk. You can name it anything you want. And um, basically how you do that, you add the drive is for the first time when you want to add it. All you have to do is, if you want to recognize it, go to computer. Go to manage. And go to storage. Oh, sorry. Good. What happened here? Oops. Never mind. Since I've already done it, it's not going to do it again. But that's how you do it. It has a. Um, you can you can search the web for it. But um, you basically go to your computer, right click, manage. You go to storage. You select the drive. Right click. Then you it formats it and it adds it to the Windows. I'm sure you'll figure your way, where, way around it. And there we are. So thank you for watching this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this laptop, please let me know.